And now, marine weather around Alaska. Greetings, I'm National Weather Service meteorologist Peter Chan with your marine weather outlook that'll take us through the end of this week and at least tease the weekend ahead. A quick check of the sea ice. It is really melting off in the far north across the Arctic Ocean, the Beaufort Sea. And we expect this here as we go through the late summer season, the trend will only continue. And looking at this weather map this Wednesday afternoon, weekly area of low pressure over the western Gulf, and we have this thermal lows or troughs of low pressure from northwest Canada into the central interior. These tend to serve as boundaries for uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms to develop. And then we have an area of low pressure out toward the central bearing uh, sea. And as we go through Thursday, we still have weak low pressure in the western Gulf with the trough extending off of uh, the Panhandle and uh, through Haida Gwaii and then uh, extending back west to that low in the Bering Sea with a remaining trough, uh, thermal trough there across the interior. More importantly though, kind of a harbinger of things to come, stronger area of low pressure is going to be lifting out of the North Pacific into the Gulf this weekend, bringing gale force winds and moderate to locally heavy rain, especially along the northeastern Gulf Coast and Panhandle. So all uh, marine interest here along the Gulf Coast should be aware because they're, they're going to be uh, gale force winds wrapping in around this system as well as along, especially along uh, the frontal system as it comes into uh, pretty much much of the Gulf Coast region. So winds on Thursday will be southeasterly, 10, 15 knots for inner channels, three foot waves up there at Lynn Canal, as well as down there in Dixon Entrance, two foot waves, Stevens Passage, and look for south winds, 15 knots south of Sitka off of Craig, waves five, six feet, winds turn more easterly once you get uh, uh, in the vicinity of Yakutat Bay with waves running there four or five feet. On Friday, winds, We'll pick up to 20 knots from the southeast down across uh, Dixon Entrance there near Ketchikan, Metlakatla with waves three, four feet. And then look for southeast winds 10 to 15 knots with two to three foot waves for the inner channels. For outer areas, south winds continue near 20 knots, uh, Sitka southward, turning uh, southeast to easterly, rounding up here as you go through the northeastern Gulf Coast with waves five, six feet. Across the northwestern Gulf, Winds easterly within Prince William Sound, 10 knots, waves, two foot waves. Uh, south or northeast winds along the Kenai coast to 15 knots with three foot waves. And generally we are expecting variable winds around 10 knots on Thursday in Cook Inlet with waves running one to two feet. For Friday, we're gonna to start to see winds picking up out of the east in advance of that low to 25 knots there, especially along uh, off the Kenai coast. Northeast winds 15 knots within Prince William Sound with waves of three feet there. And then the entrance of Cook Inlet, look for east winds 20 to 25 knots with waves of four to five feet. Around Kodiak Island, just variable winds uh, to 10 knots and waves a couple of feet, as well as variable winds on the North Pacific side of the Alaska Peninsula, look for westerly winds within Bristol Bay at 10 knots, waves three feet, and southwest winds to 15 knots with waves three feet there north of Cold Bay. On Friday, another indicator of the low circulation, notice winds picking up 25 to 30 knots in the vicinity of Kodiak Island, waves building four to five feet. We have northeast winds along the middle upper portion of uh, the Alaska Peninsula, 15 to near 20 knots, still variable as you tail out here toward the end of the peninsula around 10 knots and waves generally three, four feet on the uh, North Pacific side and two to three feet on the Bristol Bay and Bering side. Winds will generally be southwest around 15 knots for the eastern and central Aleutians with waves right around four feet, turning more northwesterly uh, in the vicinity of the western Aleutians at 15 knots. On Friday, variable winds across the eastern Aleutians, uh, only around 10 knots with waves uh, three, four feet there. And you'll notice a bit of a, a circulation. Uh, we expect west winds around Atka at 15 knots, but once you get uh, northwest of Adak, winds are gonna go around to the uh, northwest at around 15 to 20 knots with waves of five to six feet. Along the southwest coast, west winds Thursday in Bristol Bay, 15 knots, waves a couple of feet. Variable winds, Kuskokwim Bay and around St. Paul at 10 knots with waves to, to as high as four or five feet in the vicinity of St. Paul in St. George. Look for winds to try to turn on shore along the 
Yukon Delta, 510 knots, and westerly in the open waters here of the western half of uh, Norton Sound. And then on Friday, we expect northeast winds out of Bristol Bay to 10 knots, north winds Kuskokwim Bay, and then north northeast winds along the Yukon Delta at 10 knots, turning more northwesterly into Norton Sound, and waves generally up here running right around two feet. For the Arctic coast, winds will be out of the east-northeast 20 knots, accelerating to 20, 25 knots there, especially near and just west of Cape Lisburn and Point Hope, where waves could build uh, five to eight feet there in the Chukchi Sea. As we come on down through the Bering Strait, winds turn northerly around 15 knots, uh, with waves running four to five feet there through the Bering Strait. And then on Friday, look for east to northeast winds around 15 knots along the Arctic coast. And then northeasterly winds here off of Cape Lisburn and Point Hope around 20 knots with waves uh, as high as four to seven feet. Winds will try then to turn back westward in, uh, westerly into Kotzebue Sound around 15 knots for Friday afternoon. Waves running three to four feet. And then as you get south of the Bering Strait, expect winds to be generally out of the north there at 15 knots on the north side of uh, St. Lawrence Island and turning westerly into uh, Norton Sound with waves there running about two feet.